Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're having a fabulous day. We are having a busy day. Whenever Sam is home on the weekend, I get nothing done. Nothing ever because I'm always so busy enjoying life and spending time with him and spending time with the girls and nothing gets done. We just build up a big, huge mess. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, so today, Sam is at work. This is the week before, the week before Christmas. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah. The week before, the week before Christmas. Right, exactly two weeks till Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love it, do you love Christmas? Yeah. I feel like most kids love Christmas and most parents, not so much. I have the second biggest room. Yeah, you have the second biggest room and you're the smallest in the whole family. Isn't that crazy? And Nick has the smallest room. Sophia's getting her room cleaned up. She's been trying to organize stuff. You need to get all this stuff off of here, right, my love? It's so weird. Yesterday I was saying how, or the other day I was saying how the kids are a combination of both of us and Sophie gets my love of cleaning, but she also has Sam's pack rat mentality. She loves lots of stuff and she loves it all collected. She doesn't like to get rid of anything, but yet she likes to be super clean. And Gabby gets my no need for a lot of stuff. She likes to just be, not have too much stuff. She doesn't even touch any of her stuff. Yeah. And uh, she doesn't like to clean. So it kind of works out in a good way. Um, but today we, meaning you, have to tackle this. What do you call this? I don't know why Sophia put that horse there. Is it your horse? Yeah. You don't want it in your room? He can stay in my room, I guess. You want him to stay in your room? Alright, so last year for Christmas the girls got these uh, cameras and they don't really use them that often. But the rest of this stuff is just all a big mess. So we're going to get cleaning that, right? Mm -hmm. We have to make room for new Christmas stuff. I swear half of this stuff is left over from Christmas last year that you haven't even touched. Are you ready? I'll get you a box. I'll get you two boxes. Mom, get me a box too. You already boxed up all your stuff. No, I just want to uh, clean that up a bit. You want to clean this shelf up a bit uh, now? In the attic. You want, what do you want to put in the attic here? Um, These are all books. her books. That. Your dog? My you want to put your dog up there? And that kind of stuff. So get to work. Get to work. And we have two little puppies here to make sure we do the right thing. Sophia still needs a bed frame. We bought her a double bed recently in the summer and we still haven't got her a frame. Gabby got her room pretty much put together. She cleaned off her windowsill and she cleaned off her shelf. So the girls and I are hanging out here on the couch looking out the window because remember I told you that we're having water issues, we have no water pressure? Well the city has to come and rip up our whole front yard, all the sidewalk and all the road. It's going to be a huge mess just yeah. before Christmas. But luckily they're going to close the road. You think they're going to close the road? Because mm -hmm. then how else would the people get by? Yeah, I think that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, so. Just before Christmas, when things are getting crazy, our road and our house is going to get crazy. All my garden in the front is going to be ripped up. And we can't find Elfie. And we can't find Elfie! Um, so this morning when me and Gabby were looking, we looked everywhere, but we couldn't find him. He could be at the North Pole still, or he could be at the horse barn. It is totally true. The girls woke up this morning and they ran downstairs and they went to find Alfie because sometimes he brings fun stuff for them. And today they came and they couldn't find him. He is completely missing. He's not anywhere in our house. The girls are freaking out. So what do you guys think happened to Alfie? I think he's at the horse barn. At the horse well, we barn? I don't think he's at the horse barn. He, like when I wanted him to go uh, to school with me, he went to school. Cool. And I want him to go to the horse barn. It's true. One day, not that one day, a couple of years ago, Gabby was like, "Imagine if Elfie went to school," and we were like, "Our elf would never go to school." And then she woke up one day, and we couldn't find him anywhere. And she went to school, and he's sitting on her desk. All of her friends were there, and our elf was sitting on her desk. It was crazy. And then the very next day, he showed up at our house again. So the girls are holding out hope 
that he is at the horse barn. I just don't see it happening though. What oh, about- he could be in our car, riding in a car. He could be in our car, but what if you guys were acting so bad yesterday that he decided not to come back? It's Sophie's fault. <laughs> Right, it is cold. Wait, where's you got Spencer's? Okay. It is cold. Who are you riding, Sophie? Sabrina. Sabrina. Who are you riding, Gabby? Spencer. So we're all catching horses. This Gabby's Sophie's riding Sabrina and I'm taking up blue. Actually Gabby's taking up blue. Is that Spencer? Yep. Alright, Spencer, you're mine. Are you guys friends? Is this a love affair that we witnessed the other day? It is. It's a love affair. I bet ya. Sabrina fun. likes shorter men. She likes shorter guys. Well, I called that wrong the other day when Spencer was giving Sabrina love bites. It was a love bite. She has a boyfriend. Our girl has a boyfriend. So, and you have a slug, which means he's walking slow. So, Gabby's got blue. Sophie's got Sabrina. I got Spencer. The horses are in. Is that it? Horses, who's riding first? Sorry. You miss me, Sabrina. You miss me. You miss me? Look who I found at the barn. You won't believe it. You will not believe it. The girls haven't seen yet, but they've been looking for Alfie and you guessed it, he's at the barn. There he is. Look where he is. I found him at the barn. You know what I found? What? Emergency, quick. <laughs> Hurry. Hurry up. Emergency. Emergency. Hurry up, Gabby. <laughs> Hurry up, Gabby. What are you doing? Sophie, get your boots on. It's important. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? Oh. Sophie, <laughs> who found them? Oh, crazy. Well, Dad, you were going to make me leave Spencer untied. Oh, sorry. So crazy, Al. You're all right. You got it, Sophie. Good job, you Al. did it. You're good okay. Job. Are you so okay? The part is, I'll tell you one good thing. She always goes forward when she sits. It's the horses that turn around 180 degrees and go the other way that are no fun to ride. Because when they go forward, you just got to hold on and go with them. <laughs> Get that? <laughs> A little. Are you okay? Tell her she's all right. That's it. Uh, he's banging the metal. You're good. Keep riding. It's, it's okay that she spooked Sophie. It's good dad's making noise over there because she's just taking you forward. So you're just going a little faster. Back to your trot. So one key thing you have to remember when a horse spooks, if we let her stop or walk, especially a lazy horse, then she's going to do it more because she's going to think that she gets away with it and gets a break. So talk to her, lean back, and keep talking to her. You gotta reassure her that she's okay. That's it. So you're okay. Talk to her. Tell her she's all good. Say, I got you. We can do this together. That a girl. She's in the chicken coop.
Did you have a good ride? Yes. Legs. Legs are sore? Good girl, Sabrina. I feel bad leaving her in the field because she, her friends aren't there now. They're still up at the barn and she just looks so lonely. She had a big drink and you know, her water trough had a little layer of ice on the top. Um, Gabby was going to go get a big rock so we could crack it. And she just put her head in. I heard a crack and she just drank away. Sam's new snowblower came in today. So after riding, Sam and I ran to get that. But we're home now and we're going to end today's video because this girl needs a hot bath because it is freezing out there. Macy, did you want to say hi? She's like, yeah, I want to say hi. And Sean Boyden wants to know, how did Gabby grow her hair so long? Can you make a video about it? We would make a video about it, except for it would be this short of a video. Gabby, how did you get your hair to grow so long? My hair was originally down to my butt, like past my butt. Um, but basically I just waited a long... No, basically I was born with my hair really long. Yeah, and then you just let it grow, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Toby, you have three arms! <laughs> he, <Where is> he? <laughs> he's walking with... You, come here, I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, you know mama doesn't hurt you. <laughs> He's still always afraid though. Fix his arm, can you fix oh, his arm? Oh, Toby, you have three legs. Anyway, it is true. All the people in my husband's family, all the babies in my husband's family are born with so much hair. Gabby had tons of hair when she was a newborn baby and um, it just, it didn't fall out. It just kept growing and growing and growing. And same with Sophia. Sophia even had more hair than Gabby. <laughs>